Great. Well, let's take a moment to think about what your favorite acid is. <laughs> and you're probably laughing. Acid. When you think about acid, it's, we often think about corrosive materials, stuff that burns. So what comes to my mind in my laboratory is sulfuric acid, which is a very strong acid. And if I don't wear gloves while using it, and if I spill it on my skin, it will burn it. We also th might think about um, fruits, like clementines and lemon. So these all have citric acid, again. And lemon juice can be a very strong acid and kind of sting your tongue when you suck on it. My advisor has told me that her favorite acid is acetic acid, which we commonly know as vinegar. So when you think about this, what all these different acids have different um, strengths. And to measure this, uh, we use the pH scale. This is a measurement of how many free hydrogen ions are in solution. And it ranges from a scale of 1, which is very acidic, to 14, which is basic, and 7 is neutral. So going back to thinking about lemons, lemon juice has a pH of 2, so it's pretty acidic. So what about rain? What is the pH of rain? Now, when my science teacher asked me this back when I was a first year grad student, I thought, oh, rain? Well, it's water. It doesn't hurt my skin when it falls on me. If I stick out my tongue and let it drop on my tongue, it doesn't sting. So it's probably neutral. It has a pH of 7. Well, <laughs> I soon learned that when we measured the pH with a pH meter, it's actually a pH of 5.5. So rain is slightly acidic. And that's because there's carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, exactly. And when you think about that, carbonated beverages, carbonated beverages, right? They have carbon that is in the drink. And so when you open that, <laughs> that's carbon dioxide under pressure coming out and outgassing. Now, Coke actually has a pH of about 3, so it's very acidic. Um, and that's probably why your dentist says, ah, don't drink too much Coke, it will hurt your teeth. So going back to the rain, how does acidic rain affect us? Well, in thinking about um, over time, it can wear, wear thing, uh, structures down, monuments, or if you've ever gone to an old cemetery, go look at those gravestones that are usually made of limestone, and you're wondering, who is this person? I can't read the engravings, because over time, the water has dissolved uh, the limestone. So all that comes down to is the carbon dioxide dissolved in the rain. And this is also, I think you've probably heard about ocean acidification. And this is something carbon dioxide is dissolving in our oceans, making them more acidic, and that's dissolving corals, for example, over time. So keep that in mind. Thank you.